But anyway, so we are back home now from a very successful trip down to Smith Toy Superstores. Um, there were a couple of extra figures that you guys don't know about because uh, we were told, unfortunately, to stop recording. So yeah. um, there are a couple of, uh, of figures in here which you haven't seen yet, which is exciting. Yeah. So we're just going to go through and show you the ones that we did pick up. Here so let's start things off with Elite 83 Drew McIntyre. That's a really nice one. I'm really, really nice. happy to pick this one up. This was uh, this is one I've been wanting for a while, so really happy to get that one. Yeah. So it's a cool. nice one though. They, they do a really good job with the um with Drew McIntyre's yeah. scan as well. Yeah, he gets a really good one on there as well. So I'll grab the next one for yep. you. All right. So we have got <laughs> Jeff Hardy. This one was hiding one from number uh, series sixty-seven. Yeah. This one, this one was hiding at the back. Uh, wrestling guy was very, yeah. very lucky, very excited to find this one. So. Yeah, it was a shame we couldn't get it on record for yeah. you guys. But like I said, we were asked to yeah. stop recording. But so that's well. a really, really nice one. Love the face paint on that one. The the, the screaming expression on his face as well. Yeah. Put the fingers up as well. So that that's fantastic. And the uh, the United States title in there as well. So that is gorgeous. That one. Love yeah, that. Really, really like really, really that nice one. that one. So yeah, uh, beautiful. Next one we have we have um Championship Showdown, Series One, Undertaker and Jeff Hardy. Nice. Back from their ladder match that they had on uh Raw, uh, was it? Was it Raw? Was it Raw? I think it was. Yeah, yeah I can't I remember. It was Raw, yeah. yeah. There's a really good match. Go and check it out if you haven't already. Uh, so that's the Undertaker. Fantastic job they've done on the, both of these figures, but I'm especially really impressed with the uh, the Undertaker figure on this mm. one. Just the detail is incredible. Loving these. I know the chairman picked up on this in the vid um, when we were in the in the shop. Side plates, really, the side really plates, nice. Yeah, the side plates using them as so, stands, I think, is a yeah. fantastic idea. Really, um, really sets it up, really, gives, really it that, nice. um, gives it that gives it that similarity between the belts and things like that as well. So that's really good. So this was one I I um, I really liked. This is one I I saw. That I really uh, had my eye on. Um, this was um, Carrion Cross from uh, Series eighty five. So uh, really liking that one. So uh, love yeah, the expression beautiful. on his face again on that one. He's got that angry uh, expression on there. Uh, fists clenched. Love the tattoos again. They've done a great job on, on the on the tats there. Uh, got the, the the ring jacket as well on there. That is fantastic, and that's the first time in the line as well. So yeah, um, we said that there seems to be quite a few of the first time in the line ones coming out now because uh, they've got more uh, more wrestlers in there, new characters in there as well. So we're seeing a lot of these new ones coming out. Yeah, fabulous on this. Good one. love that one. Yeah. Um, this next one, I'm a really big fan of. It is one half of the Viking Raiders uh, Elite Series eighty. Eric. Uh, now, unfortunately, it didn't have an Ivar there, no. um, so I'm going to have to see if we can pick that up at a later date, but really impressed with this figure. love the details of the tattoos, um, and he's actually got a really nice basic figure as well, which we, uh, yeah. which we did see. No, we did see Ivar. No, we did see Ivar. I think we did see Ivar, but that one was damaged, I think. Yeah, that one. yeah, yeah possibly, There was an yeah. Ivar there, but it, yeah, the box wasn't good on that one, so we weren't yeah, going to go so with that one. So, but yeah. yeah. Really, so, really like. Right. Um, okay, so figure. this is one I picked up in 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 the uh, in the video, but I wanted to show you guys again. Really, really liking this one, uh, the boss Sasha Banks from uh, series eighty three. So yeah, really liking that one on there. I just love that hair color on. I think they've done a fantastic job with that. The outfit looks great. Love the pose as well. The little boss uh, glasses on there as well. Absolutely fantastic that one. That's a lovely one for your collection. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm really, really liking that. Really liking that one. Yeah. The next one we have is a uh, another championship showdown. This is a series two one. Triple H and The Rock. Really liking the look of this one. I know the chairman didn't see. I picked. Did get a proper look at yeah. that one? Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. The 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 details they put on their faces are fantastic. They look like the younger yeah. uh, Triple H and Rock on there. They are absolutely and like, fantastic. Like we said when we were in the shop, um, some wrestlers they seem to get really right with their figures, and Triple H is one of them. That's a fantastic. Triple H, Triple H, seems, H they seem to get spot on every time, um, and yeah. the Rock is actually pretty good as well. Yeah. So yeah, really happy with that one. Yeah, loving um, that. Really liking the look of that. That is so, really really nice. So yeah, good yeah good job on that one. That's yeah. another one. Great yeah, one for your really nice Yeah. One. And now we've got a couple more. Well, a couple more, quite couple a lot more. more. <laughs> right, yeah, so the chairman. Right, okay, okay so, uh, let's go next then. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to pick up this one. I really like this one. So from the um, from, from the Boneyard match, uh, WrestleMania, so Series 85 Undertaker. Nice, I so, really like the look of this one. Really liking that. So yeah, WrestleMania 36, the Boneyard match, uh, the bandana, they've got the, the gear on there as well, fantastic. The, the 
uh, interchangeable hands as well on there. Love the fact they've put a shovel in with yeah. this one as well. I think that is a fantastic little detail on there as well. Yeah. Uh, the face scan is great on there as well. The, ta the tattoos look amazing. So really done a great job on his sleeves there. So yeah, so that's a great one that's on there. That's a great one to pick up. I'm really that is really, that really one. nice, that one. I say for a one-time match as well. So that's a great one to, to have on there. Because I like, I like the little Funko version of him as well. So, so this was a great one. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. All right, next up, we're going to go for oh, Titus <laughs> World Slide. Titus O'Neill, part of the Royal Rumble collection. Um, Actually, really, really impressed with this figure. They got the positioning absolutely spot on with this figure. Uh, obviously, <laughs> the interchangeable gotcha. hands. Um, got the little whistle there, which I've been just picked up on. <laughs> um, yeah. And the Rumble Stumble or Slide t-shirt, which I really like as well. Just a, <laughs> just a nice looking figure. Again, done a great job with the head scan. It yeah. looks just That's like Tyler Snow. Absolutely great. Um, love it when they put, when, when you get the figures that actually look like who they're meant to rep represent. So... Uh, Really happy with that one and uh, another one for the Royal Rumble yeah, collection. Love the Rumble Tumble Slide t-shirt on there as well. Yeah. Like, poor guy's never going to live that down, but yeah. Yeah, that looks great on that one. Yeah, so. definitely. All right. So this one I didn't get a proper a proper close look at, so I'm glad to have a quick look at this one now. So this is uh, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Again, the Elite Collection. Part of the so, Royal Rumble Collection. The Royal yeah. Rumble set in yeah. there again. So yeah, so really, really liking that. Great, great face scan again. The pose, fantastic. Love the ring jacket again. Fantastic job on that. You can't go too, you can't go too wrong with Stone Cold no. Steve Austin. Very traditional, just sort of uh, all in the black. Um, but they, say they get the face scan spot on. The pose is brilliant. Mm. That is fantastic, that one. Yeah. Really, really like really that nice one. Look, they've got the knee braces on there as well, which are just spotted on there as well. So yeah, brilliant job. Great on yeah. that one. Um, and you guys know that we've got the Ultimate Warrior, so we can not have the full Royal Rumble set. So we've also got Umaga to complete the Royal Rumble collection. Now, myself and the chairman spent uh, quite a while in the shop um, trying to find a decent Umaga. Trying to find the one with the right face on it. Because yeah. a lot of the ones that they had on there, because they've got him, as you can see on there, with the, op with the open mouth expression on there, um, a lot of them seem to have all of this kind of pushed up and it made his jaw look very fat. Yeah. Um, so we had to we had to have a good look through to find this one. Um, but that one, the one we we found, looks absolutely spot on. Looks great on there. The face paint really comes this out on really him as well. Nice. Yeah, it looks really really love, good on that. Love one. the interchangeable hands they've chosen as well. The one where he does his uh, Simone spike. Really oh, yeah, really I like that. that. Really like that selection they've gone for there. And obviously, that is fantastly, fantastic. Yeah. The entrance, um, yeah, there's garb on entrance there as well. Yeah, but it's well. brilliant on there. Yeah, yeah. really like that. I didn't notice that with the Simone Spike. Yeah, really like that's really, really, really good. Really nice addition. Ah. Great job on the tattoos. Um, one of the very few figures that they've actually got right with the uh, little joint in the middle. They seem to have done a good job with this one. Yeah, um, that, seems, that one seems a little bit more... More in proportion. Hit, yeah, <laughs> yeah but also hidden. a little bit more hidden as well. Yeah. So some of them, they're really, really obvious, especially yeah. if they've got tops on and they've done him over the top of it it just doesn't yeah just doesn't look right on that one so um let's stick with the ww we'll come back to the, the AEW ones in a minute so oh now i got, got i've got to be honest i'm a little bit jealous on this one this was the only one that we found in the shop so i am a little bit jealous about this one because this would have been one i would have picked up all right but this one is a collector's edition davy boy smith another the british gem. bulldog so we're not joking when we say this was the last one on the show we got yeah. we, we we actually had to, to ask staff to actually get this one down yeah. for us um it was right up on the top shelf um and uh we saw it but we couldn't get to it um but this one is fantastic the face scan on this one is brilliant i'm, I'm guessing they've done this from from old yeah. photographs um but that is absolutely spot on um I, the outfit looks amazing as well again the interchangeable hands and I love the fact that they've included Matilda. I think that is a fantastic touch on that. I really, really like that. The fact that yeah. Matilda is in there as well. I think that is a fantastic set. It's a beautiful yeah, figure. It's a beautiful one. It's a must have. As soon as we saw it, we yeah. were both like done. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely absolutely beautiful. But yeah, yeah, the last one in the shop as well. We were very, very lucky to get this one. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. fantastic, that one. So yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful well, one yeah. for, the, for the wrestling beautiful. guys set there. Right, right next one we have, um, we have, um, oh, yeah. The Elite Series 81, stunning Steve Austin. That's, um, a, that's another one that I really, really liked yeah, as well. Yeah, I had my eye on this figure for a little while. Um, and this one was actually um, in the reduced section at Smith's. So 
that pretty much guaranteed that I was going to pick this one up as soon yeah. as I saw it's reduced. Um, really like the like the look on here. Like the fact that they've actually incorporated the title belt with the figure. Um, I'm a big fan of when they do that because I think when they do the title separate, it kind of it doesn't look as good. So I'm liking the fact that they've had they've actually made it so he's holding on to the belt, um, and he's wearing the entrance jacket as well. It's great. <laughs> um, but yeah, really big fan of that figure. Great head scan. Um, really, really happy to pick this one yeah, up. Yeah, sometimes it's, cool. it's, sometimes it's nice when they've got the um, yeah. when they've got the actual jackets on as well. Right? Yeah, yeah, really, really like that on so there. Yeah. So yeah, big fan of that. Really, really happy to have that one yeah. in the collection. Of course, I, re I remember studying Steve Austin back sort of in the WCW days when he was in the, the Hollywood Blondes with Brian Pillman. Um, so really, really liking that the, the old sort of style look on there. So you've got the new, you've got the the, the more modern day Austin. You've got the uh, the old school Austin yeah, as well on definitely. there. So yeah, fantastic ones on there. So so. This was one that we did show you uh, on the video as well, but uh, this one I really, really like as well. Again, another first time in the line one, um, Angel Garza, uh, Series 84. Now, uh, really, really liking this one. Now, the, 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 the face scan on this one is, is excellent. Um, the pose is fantastic. I really, really like the pose on there. I really like the trousers on there as well. Um, they are material trousers on there as well. And you can actually see they've got a little Velcro seam down the side as well. For when he rips them off, which is which is what he does in uh, in, in the ring. So um, so that looks absolutely fantastic. They've done a, fan, a stunning job on that one. Really, really liking that one. Um, yeah, that's a really great one for uh, for the wrestling guys collection mm, there. Definitely. Uh, yeah. So we're seeing some seeing some fresh faces on there yeah. as well, which is really really great. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, this next one I have again had this I had my own this one for a while. It's a bit of an old one. It's an Elite seventy nine, Daniel Bryan. I am really liking this figure. I love the positioning. The mm. position they've done a great job with. Um, giving him three pe pairs of interchangeable hands, which is interesting. Um, yeah. I wonder uh, why they've done that. Yeah. Put, I, I would have thought they might have put a title belt in with him. Yeah, possibly. Um, yeah. Um, like like the, um, the extra head scan as well. The they've fact done that a fantastic gone, job The fact that. that they've gone with the short hair, short beard. On there, and then also put in there um, the second head with the long hair, long beard. I think it's a fantastic touch on there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. great job really, with that. Really, it's great. On um, that so, like I said, I had my on this figure for a while. Really, really happy that I've now got it in my collection. So it looks great. I think that's on my display. That's going to look fantastic. So yeah, yeah really happy to put yeah, that one. It's a great one on there. Okay, and then right. Okay, and then the next one on here. Uh, I really like this one as well. This one took us a while to find one that we actually like the face yeah. on as well. Um, some of the head scans were a bit wonky on this one. Uh, and this one is Series 84, Murphy. Now, I'm a big fan of Murphy's. Really, really like Murphy. Um, so really pleased to see a, a really nice figure of him. Again, like I said, we, we, had to find, we had to go through a little bit to find one that we really liked. But this one, spot on there. Got that mean look on his face. Looks great. Um, the, the hands have got the, the fingers on there as well, which I really like on that one as well. Loving the Seth Rollins shirt. That they've put in with it as well. Really, really like that. Um, back from when he was uh, the, the disciple on there. So I think that's a really good touch on there. Got disciple written on the tights on there as well. So um, yeah, really, really nice really that nice. one. Yeah, yeah very really happy with that. So. Okay, next one we've got is oh yes. Now again in the reduced section at Smith's. Um, had to get this one, the ring cart Andre the Giant to go with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah, knew you weren't going to leave without that one. So, yeah. Um, yeah, really happy to have this figure. It looks really good. The actual figure looks great. Love the ring carts. I think the ring cart figures are just fantastic. Yeah. But I know the chairman made a very good point about they could do a lot more with these ring carts. I think they should do a bigger ring um, cart collection because I think yeah. the ring cart collection that they do is fantastic. Um, the Macho Man Randy Savage one and the Andre the Giant one both look amazing. Um, and they were a very significant part of, uh, of WrestleMania 3. So why not do more of the people from WrestleMania 3? You uh, had Hulk Hogan, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. You've got a whole bunch of people in there that, they, that you could do yeah. in there. Um, also, with the Andre the Giant one, I would have loved to have seen a Bobby Heenan with it. Um, in in the the white and gold the white and gold tuxedo that he had at WrestleMania, yeah. I think that would have been a fantastic touch on there as well. Yeah. Um, but really, really like the ring cart set. Please do some more of them because I think they look fantastic. Yeah, I'd love to fantastic. see those on there. Now, yeah. Roddy Piper. Well, there were so many people at WrestleMania three that would look great in these ring cart collections. So yeah, please do please do more of them. Yeah, please definitely. do more of them. Um, right. So we're gonna go for. Oh, we'll take one of these each. Yeah. Because we have a tag team here. Yeah. We have. 
The Street Profits. So we have uh, Angelo Dawkins. And Montez Ford. Okay, so. Some great ones on there. Yeah. Um, um, we were. Price them. Yeah, <laughs> and these were the last, uh, these were the last ones of both of these. Yeah, definitely. Um, we saw one uh, and picked it up straight away. Uh, and then we managed to find um, Angelo Dawkins as well and pick that one up as well. Yeah. So uh, the Angelo Dawkins one, yep, looks looks good on there. Um, comparing his face to the scan on there, look, that looks really good on there as well. Uh, like the like the whole gear on there, like the whole outfit, like the fact that they've done their outfits exactly the same colors and style yeah. as well. I really like um, with the Angelo Dawkins one. The one thing that does niggle me a little bit on the, the way that they've packaged this one is that the Street Prof Profits logo. Um, because they've done it over the joint, they've kind of done it on both the top and bottom bits, so it kind of looks a little bit off on that. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, just really, really like that one. Again, like the hands that they've put in there as well, and the separate shirt on the side as well. But yeah, really, really liking that. It's a really yeah, good, definitely. Uh, really good yeah. one, that one. It's great. And then obviously we've got Montez Ford, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, Chairman. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite figures that we've actually picked up here because they've just done a fantastic job. I've got to be honest, that Montez Ford one is absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah. I love all the accessories that they've put in with it. The face scan is phenomenal on that one. Yeah. Really, really looked like yeah. Montez. So and it just looks great, doesn't mm. it? Like, I'm glad they've got the cup in the hand yeah. and the crown. The, crown. Um, the interchangeable hand choices are fantastic. Yeah. Great choices there with those gloves. They yeah. look fantastic. I um, think that is a, that is a, an yeah. excellent addition to the collection. So yeah. it just looks so so good yeah. on there. We were so lucky. I'm, so, I'm sort one. of I'm in an iron about this one. We walked in and we saw it, and then I kind of thought, oh, I'll come back to it. And then I came back to it, had a proper look at it, and I thought, yeah, yeah, it's a must have. Yeah, and then so, because yeah. we got Montez, you have to, you you have have to get, get Angelo, Angelo as well. Yeah, yeah, like 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 I said earlier on, we got the um, the Eric. It's a shame that they didn't have a decent Ivar there. Um, because yeah, of yeah, we saw like one, but as, as, um, well. yeah, we saw one. Unfortunately, it was all bashed up on there, which was yeah. a shame because um, yeah. the box was uh, too, the, too much damage on the box. Unfortunately, yeah. So, definitely. all right. Um, so coming up to near the end, uh, so we're going into the uh, the AEW series now, uh, and uh, the wrestling guy picked up Orange Cassidy from the uh, the series three Unrival collection. So. Really like that one. Nice figure. Yeah, really, really like that figure. one. They had a few of this one in as well, but we had to try and find the one that looked right. Um, some of them looked a little bit wonky around the face. Uh, we were trying to find one that had the t-shirt the, the sort of properly pulled down so you could actually get a proper look at the t-shirt. A lot of them were kind of all ridden up because they put his hand in towards his pocket. So a lot of them were looked a little bit out on there, but that one looks great. So yeah, great job on that one. So yeah. So personally I'm not a big fan of uh, of Orange Cassidy. Um but I do like the look. I do yeah. like the look. I do like his look. I do like his um his style. Um not a big fan of watching him but um but I really do like that figure. And, and as you guys know we are going for the full AW collection so we've just got to get all of them yeah now and just, <laughs> just see how we how we do. But yeah do like that Orange Cassidy. Um but like the chairman said it took us a little while to find one that was uh that was, was good yeah. that was good. Yeah. Um don't think yeah, that's good. Um, and then the last one we've got um, is another AEW figure. You guys can probably guess who it is. This was the last one on the shelf um, that I didn't have in my collection already. So uh, it is Riho in the Series 3 collection. So that's the fourth Series 3 set that we've now got. Yeah. Um, not a bad figure. Love the attire choice on this one, actually. I think um, the attire is really, really good on there, and I like the fact that they that they actually included the women's title in there. They included well. the women's title. The interchangeable hands. I'm not massively impressed with with the bottom two. No, I think they kind of just doesn't look right, really. But I'm not going to complain. Still a really nice figure. The attire, like I said, great attire choice. Um, head scan, to be fair, pretty decent job. Yeah. Um, title belt looks good, like you said, and yeah. Another AW figure for the collection. Ooh. So, our first toy hunt on the channel. Yeah. Um, very successful. Smiths had a fantastic range of wrestling stuff there. Yeah, they did. Um, Unfortunately, they didn't have such a big range for the uh, for the Funko collection. Because, uh, oh, as you guys yes. know, I got to, uh, I'm a fan of the Funko Pop collection. Um, but I did manage to pick up two on my on my travels. So uh, I did end up with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So. Just a nice simple one on there. Do like that one on there though, with the, with the uh, three sixteen on the on the vest uh, and the, and the title belt as well. So yeah, so I was really happy really with, nice. with with that one. Um, and then um, going a little bit more, going a little bit more current. Um, 
Drew McIntyre. So looking great on there as well. So yeah, really, really happy with that one as well. So really nice outfit on that one. Really happy with that one as well. So yeah, so just a small little collection for me. Um, quite a lot going on there for, for the wrestling guy to sort out. So see if you can make some space for it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it from us today guys i uh, really hope you guys enjoy hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and we will see you next time